Good morning, it's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to pull some cards and share some guidance for this week ahead. That's this week starting Wednesday the 12th of October through till Tuesday the 18th of October. So while you're coming over, just a couple of things. First of all, a big thank you to Claudia from Germany who sent me this card in the mail. And big waves to you, Claudia, and your daughter, Leonie. Thank you for taking the time to send me something in the mail. How lucky am I? So thank you so much. I also want to send out a big welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light members, and all of those of you who support my work through my website or through other methods. Thank you so much for your support. Um, I'm coming to you live from Tasmania, Australia. I'm right in the middle of our heart-shaped island here at the south of Australia. And it is uh, Wednesday the 12th of October now. And the time is 10, 12 a.m. So welcome. How are you doing? I trust that you're well and things are flowing well for you at this time. It's pretty interesting and very intense energy. And as I was preparing for this video and reflecting on last week's theme, I see that for me personally, I should have dived a little bit deeper into the theme because I think that that would have been very helpful with the up and down kind of energy, the the deep senses of contentment and gratitude that really um, came in quite often this week. But then there was also some quite unsettling energy that also came through. And one moment we could have, or I found myself being, you know, really content and grateful. And then the next moment quite unsettled and even a little bit on the bored side, which is unlike me. So Looking back on our theme, I see that in hindsight now, I maybe should have done and honoured our theme just a little bit more personally, which was letting go. Remember, I talked about purging and clearing. It was our purification card that came up as our theme last week. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have a little bit more letting go that's required that may come up in our cards this week. But we will see. We will be governed by the cards. So we'll see. Um what the cards have to say. So welcome. If you are new, welcome. And also welcome to my regular viewers, those of you who come in most or each week. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, what I'll be doing is using my combined Animal Kingdom Oracle cards that have been combined with my Speed of Light Oracle. These two decks I have illustrated and created. And I have 110 cards here to play with. And I'm going to be using the this combined deck to find the best cards for this week are the best cards that the majority of us need. I'm not pulling cards for individuals. So I'll be uh, laying some cards out for this week and we'll just see where the cards want to take us. It's quite exciting. Um, so as always, please take on board what feels right and what resonates and what fits into your life easily at this time and let the rest go. And just think of this as a guide only. Allow this to support you through the week. And if it supports you, great. If it doesn't support you, just let it go. It's not going to resonate with everybody. So we're looking now for the best cards for this reading week, starting Wednesday the 12th of October through to Tuesday the 18th of October 2022. So the best cards the majority of us need will find their way to the top of the deck based on the way I choose my cards. So the best cards for this week for the majority of us, the 12th to the 18th of October 2022, are these here. Okay, so we're starting with Speed of Light. Just bear with me a second while I duck out of shot and we'll lay these cards down. So I want to do two rows of four the top row has three speed of light and one animal kingdom and the second row has three speed of light and one animal kingdom so again the speed of light oracle cards are coming up very strongly and they have for the last couple of weeks and the speed of light oracle tend to be very direct are uh, very truth orientated as well like there's no fluffing around the edges with the speed of light oracle cards they are very direct so Quite direct energy. Let's turn these guys over. Oh, we ha do have a dragon. So give me a dragon, guesses, guys. 
Oh, and we've got a couple of featured cards. So dragons first. I'll talk about it soon. But we've got five dra possible dragons uh, in the element. So we've got water, fire, air, earth, and the spirit dragon. What's your prediction? Which dragon do you think has come up? While you're thinking about that and feeling on that, let's honour these couple of uh, featured cards. We have the white tiger it's a featured card and it has further instructions here which say to split the deck and take the top card so I'm going back to my deck and I'm just splitting and we've got this speed of light oracle card oh which is the spirit bird excellent so that will go with that I'm going to put this deck back on top where it was because we've got a second featured card which is a featured timing card this talks about, oh, it's Stellar Cycle, and here it says to take the fourth card from the top of the deck. So I go back to my deck and I go down one, two, three, four to this Animal Kingdom Oracle card. Oh, we've got the butterfly. There's some really good energy coming through this week, and we've got loads of cards, so I'll try not to talk for too long, but... And the cat's here to visit, but I'll just have to ignore the cat for a minute because we need to get straight into this. Okay, so beginning, let's go. We're going to go into the dragon too. We're going to get these two cards for Wednesday. So I'll show you the dragon in a second while well, you're still guessing. Um, the first card for Wednesday, the 12th of October, is card 15 called Projection. It says Vision, Focus, Concentration. And chaos. This is actually very interesting to come up uh, for Wednesday because there is this sense of honing our mind in and really focusing. Oh, I think I revealed the dragon, didn't I? Um, uh, you know, really focusing and honing our attention towards something. And this is what some of us have, or I know for me, I've been trying to establish this over the last few days. What do I want to focus on? Um, do I need to start a new project? Do I need to just get some projects tied up? What do I want to do with my focus at this time? And that's very much about what this card's about. It's about focus and concentrating on um, a new, uh, and it seems to be like a regular, uh, it could be a daily or some regular routine or regular thing that we commit to. It could be personal, like meditation, exercise. Um, it could be something a bit bigger than that, learning a new skill, maybe um, starting a new job or doing something that gives us some focus and direction. Also in this card, it's about uh, being careful that we're not distracting ourselves. Um, so there is this tendency at this time for us to run away. <laughs> um, there is this general runaway energy, especially of something that threatens us in some way, and it could be threatening our own uh, power it could be threatening our our need to be in control and I've talked about this in the current energy report which we are getting uh, sent out now we've had email issues this week so we're working on that that'll come out soon but let's avoid distractions so we can use our mind um, to our benefit and it can be like I say it can be our best ally in helping us move out of a rut or out of a funky sort of time period but our mind can also be our biggest enemy and talk us out of things that are good for us or out of changes that we need to make or improvements that could be to our benefit so who's what team is your mind on right now is your mind on the opposing team is it opposing your heart is it opposing um you are you at conflict with your mind or is is your mind on board? Is it on the same team as you? And maybe you're trying to get your mind back on your team. That's what I feel like I'm doing. Like I'm trying to get my, coax my mind back to be on my team instead of feeling like my mind is on the opposite opposing team. So where is your mind sitting and how can you really focus yourself, uh, especially on Wednesday? And it comes up with the fire dragon, actually. Card 23. The fire dragon says that this is a very powerful time of change. So the fire dragon brings that fire element. So fire can be destructive, but it can also be very constructive. It can be very regenerative, can't it, in areas of our life. So I see the fire is very healing. I see that there's been a lot of fiery emotion around lately as well, like agitation, anger, 
um, this sort of um, flying off the handle, you know, being a bit short fused as well lately. So we might find our emotions a little bit fiery um, of late, so especially around Wednesday. But what we're being encouraged to do is really focus and harness this energy. So it's like raw power, isn't it? And there is this power energy around that we might not really know how to handle or deal with right now. So we're trying to master it. We're trying to figure out how to work with this fireball instead of being burned by the fireball. So this is part of, I mean, it's kind of a metaphysical uh, approach, but this is part of the energy that's around at the moment. So how will we work with this fireball energy? How can we harness it and use it as magic and power that can be uh, empowering into our benefit in our forward movement? Or are we getting burned by the fire? So is it, and again, we could look at this as like that team thing. Is the energy, does the energy at the moment feel like it's on the opposite team to you? Like things are against you, things are opposing you? Or um, is the energy on your team? Is it on your side? I feel like it wants to be on our side. So let's be careful we're not keeping some conflict in place without realizing it. And there is certainly some challenges to our power and our personal need to, to have control. And this is really being tested at this time. So some in some instances, we're just going to have to let our need to be in control go and trust in the experts, trust in the bigger picture, trust in maybe working with the energy a bit more instead of opposing it. Maybe we're, maybe we're the opposing ones, actually. Maybe it's not others or energy that's in the opposite team to us. Maybe we're at the opposite team to the energy. And maybe we need to get on that team with the energy. So it's basically like a form of alignment. Are you... Are we in alignment with the flow or are we trying to work against it? Are we trying to swim upstream? So just a couple of different angles of the energy. So it's quite strong, very strong actually at the moment and we can get burned. So let's just see how we can sort of figure our way through it. Now, as we move into Thursday, the 13th of October, we have this owl card 47 and it says be persistent. Or oh, it says persistence, actually. And the key words are patience, solution, question, answer, and night. Basically, this is reminding us to be patient and be persistent. And our patience is being tested at this time. We are being tested on a patience level. So we're just going to have to be patient if things aren't really happening as quickly or the way that we want them to go because our Need to be in control is being challenged. So let's be patient. Let's be persistent. Let's not give up at this time. Now, moving into Friday, the 14th of October, and we have this great card, card 30. It's called Elementals. If I could change the title, I'd probably change it to Abundance because it is the card of abundance. And it says blessings, abundance, prayers and opening. This is about being open to the good things that want to come into our life and be careful that we're not opposing everything and we haven't got walls up that we're trying to push everything away because we know what we need to do or we know what's right or we know this situation better than anyone else. Let's just try and calm our need to control and the power within us. Let's just try and keep that calm and keep that keep perspective with that this, this week or at this time. So the key with this card, well, it's showing that there's abundance around. So abundance in the form of good health, opportunities, uh, increase in finances or finances, uh, a lump sum potentially of finances. It could be sales or discounts. It's basically abundance to me is being in good flow where things are moving really nicely for us. Even though we may be dealing with challenges, things are flowing fairly well. And the key to this card is about whether we're open to that abundance and that good flow or whether we're closed off. And it just takes me again back to this team thing. Are we on the opposing team or are we on the other team? The... Yeah, isn't this interesting now? So the energy is already shifting. So are we on the opposing team 
or are we on yeah okay so I can't even the words aren't even coming for this so I think it is important at this point to really consider how or where we're on the opposing team to ourselves um, and how are we opposing things and opposing that good flow and that abundance that wants to come in is being on the opposing team is being at conflict here is that keeping the abundance back and keeping it at bay so maybe some things to think about but there is certainly abundance present for friday if we are open and allowing the abundance to come so if we're on the opposing team of ourselves then we're pretty much going to be opposing that abundance and so we're going to probably be pushing it away to some degree so it really is about getting into alignment with that flow, with that stream, with that river. Are we flowing with the current and trusting where the current's going and maybe swimming with the current so the energy's flowing really nicely? Or are we trying to swim against stream and go in a different direction? So that's the that opposing energy and that feeling at odds with where we're going or where we are. So Friday... Saturday, the 15th of October, we have Chakra Activate, card seven, and it says upgrade, new level, initiation and celebrate. So this is a time of celebration for Saturday. So there might be something coming up that's very celebratory, something very, oh, well, that's exciting because Saturday I've got an exhibition opening so that feels cool so celebrating something on saturday it might be also an opportunity to take us to the next level or upgrade parts of our life or we might even feel a sense of upgrade through this celebration as well this celebration and appreciation and maybe even some type of recognition that wants to come in too for saturday so we're being um given really an opportunity to take ourselves to the next level if we're opposing and at conflict with ourselves and this side wants to beat up that side or you know if we're playing with that fireball are we working with the fireball to create something magical and beautiful or are we getting burned are we on the um the same team that we're playing on or are we on the opposing team you know these are all the same sorts of energy so i feel like if we can get on board with ourselves somehow and maybe it comes back to that focus thing that i talked about at the very beginning if we can get on board if we can get in the stream if we can get in the flow if we can get on the team on the same team as ourselves um then it feels like there's potential here to move up to the next level and in fact there might be something connected here with a test or an initiation in this period that we're going through where we're being tested where we're being prepared to be initiated to the next level. Okay, Sunday, Sunday, the 16th of October, we have these two cards. They've come up together for a reason. So we're going to look at them separately and then we're going to look at their relationship together. This is the White Tiger card 48 and it says schedule, routine, adjustment and management. So this is about how we spend our time. And really looking at our schedule, our routine. And as we change, as things in our life change, our routine changes too. So we might be amidst, in the middle of, a, a routine, a schedule adjustment where we're trying to work out where things fit on a daily or weekly basis in our life. Maybe things have changed for you in recent months and you're working out where things fit, how things line up in your day or in your week i know i still feel like i'm doing that after my move a few months ago so where do things fit for you and what is it about your routine or your schedule that's under the spotlight on sunday maybe something becomes clearer for you in regards to what you do want to spend your time doing or what you do want to add into your day or into your week so what needs adjusting about your schedule what about your schedule or your routine or how you spend your time isn't working for you. And what changes need to be made. And it comes up with the spirit bird, which is card 37. And this says heart, song, joy, excitement, 
and motivation. This is the whistle while you work. It's the skip to your step. It's this feeling of joy and excitement and motivation. Just a real sim- simplistic sense of joy. You know, getting back to basics kind of feeling and just, you know, all the complications and the uh, complexities and the chaos and the drama that kind of has been hovering around lately. It's almost like that just doesn't exist because there is just this general sense of simple, heartfelt, basic, back to basics joy. And so this is coming in like this whistle, this uplifting feeling. And we're being encouraged on Sunday to make time for the things that do uplift us. Make time for the things that bring us joy instead of the things that are just too dramatic or too complicated or too stressful. We may need to look at what stressful things we've got in our life and how we can simplify things and maybe maybe we've taken on too much. And on Sunday, maybe that's been revealed as well that uh, maybe we need to simplify things and just get back to basics in regards to our schedule and our routine. Now, as we move to Monday, so this is Monday the 17th of October, we have Rosemary, card 20, and she says, beauty, self-love, kindness, and balance. So she's this is a very introspective looking within card. So she's got her eyes, they're not closed, they're just looking downward. So she's looking within and this is an opportunity for her to reconnect through the crowd, reconnect to her heart. And she's got this beautiful rose here on her heart. So reconnecting and nurturing. She's got a bit of cleavage showing. So this shows also reveal like the symbol of nurturing. So how or what do you need to do? And maybe you'll feel this on supportive to do on Monday. How can you reconnect with yourself? How can you reconnect to your heart? And how you can you reconnect and nurture yourself? Have you been nurturing yourself? Have you been too hard on yourself? Um, have Or can you allow some time, especially on Monday, just to reconnect with your breath, reconnect with your body and reconnect with what's really important to you? So it's almost after Sunday, this sense of simplification, this getting perspective again of what's really truly important you know sometimes we think this big list of a hundred things and these things are really important and they might be important for us at the time but then sometimes something happens we have a perspective shift and we can um, take that hundred things that are important to us today or yesterday down to maybe 10 5 or 10 things that are important to us the next day because of our perspective shift. So let's be careful we're not blowing things out of proportion or making things too dramatic and that we're uh, honing our focus in on the things or the people, the parts of our life that are the most important. So that's Monday. And then Tuesday, the 18th of October, we have these two cards. So this is a featured timing card. It's called Stellar Cycle. It's card 55. And it talks about one year, one year or the long term. This is interesting because I've just written it in the report that it's actually quite difficult at the moment to think very long term. In fact, it's hard to think really much into November. So there is this kind of unknown void energy around at the moment. So I find this very interesting that by next Tuesday that we may have something shift that allows us to think more long term. Or maybe something is coming up that we've been waiting on that uh, gives us a direction or a focus for the next long term. It could be nine months. It could be 12 months. It could be a few years ahead. So this is the long term. So from roughly the middle of October this year to the middle of October next year, approximately. So it comes up with this card, card two, butterfly. And it simply says joy. And if I could like say any cards are similar it will be these two there's a simple sense of joy coming getting back to basics there's nothing complicated about this energy either it feels very clear like the storm has passed there's no drama here and there is this feeling here of transformation personal transformation but especially in regards to the long term for us so probably early next week especially tuesday We might be looking more in the long term or find that something unlocks this week that allows us to see or sense or feel 
where we want to go or what the next sort of 12-ish months might look for us. So the other cards for this week, lots happening, but it feels like a really good potential shift this week. Very powerful, actually, especially the first few days as we kind of work out this battle, this inner battle that may be presenting as an outer battle. We may have outer external things showing up or issues with people, issues in communication, issues with things in our life that are probably showing up externally. But we've been encouraged to look at how does this fit for us internally? Where does this fit inside us? What is this teaching us personally? So very interesting. I'm going to pull a theme card in just a second to go. But before I do that, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you have liked this video and this connection, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. Please subscribe if you're on YouTube, Temple of Balance on YouTube, or please hit the follow button if you're watching on Temple of Balance on Facebook. Um, now, coming up on Friday, that's in a couple of days, is my next card reading club. So if you want to get more out of your cards, if you'd love to connect with like-minded people, if you'd love to work with your cards deeper to help yourself with other people. So we'll be working together. It's really interesting. My next online card reading club on Zoom is happening on Friday. So that's coming up uh, this Friday. Um, and our theme is for me. So we're going to be creating our own personal spread uh, and we're going to be picking cards and talking through the cards together. It's really interesting. So that's Friday. Also, this Friday is my next online art class and we'll be focusing on the theme rebirth. I'll also be guiding you through. I finally bought the picture with me. I'll be guiding you through how to draw this drawing that I did a few years ago, the Tree of Life. And I've actually had, uh, as I was getting the cards ready for printing, which will be happening tomorrow, hopefully they'll go to the printers, I've changed the title of this to The Harvest. So I thought that was an interesting spur of the moment thing. If you want to learn more about my online art class or my card reading club, my pendants, earrings, card decks here are available too. Lots of different things on my website. Please visit templeofbalance.com.au. So now let's look for the best theme card. The theme card will help bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture for this week ahead. This is a good thing to potentially keep in mind this week. So... Um, I'm asking the cards out loud. I'd usually do this in my head uh, for the best card that the majority of us need for our theme for this week, starting Wednesday, the 12th of October through till Tuesday, the 18th of October, 2022. So the best theme card is, I almost feel like a drum roll. The best theme card I will find in a moment Okay, the best theme card is this. Oh, we've got an animal kingdom. Ah, we've got a featured card. Interesting, solar cycle. This has further instructions which say to take the top card from the deck. So we'll go with this card. Ah, interesting. Pause. Pause card. Okay, so these are our themes this week. This is our theme energy. So this is solar cycle, card 52. So again, it's a featured timing card. There are four of them in the deck um, and this is one of them. <laughs> so this is talking about a 24-hour period, basically the cycle of the sun. So we're looking at a day pretty much. So we've been encouraged this week to take each, take each day as it comes, one day at a time. It also may be helpful to um, do a daily dedication or some daily focus, have something daily in our schedule this week to help give us that focus that I talked about at the very beginning of the week. So to help us ho really hone our mind so that we can get on the same page together with our mind. So we're on the same team so we can work with that fiery element and that's a fire element too. Um, we might find it helpful to do something each day. It could be set our alarm to uh, meditate or go on a walk. It could be to uh, cook ourselves something healthy if we've been eating junk lately. Um, could be learning something new. It could be focusing on a craft that we love to do, but we haven't done it for a while. 
So what do you, what have you been saying to yourself that you must do this and you haven't done this for a while? You must eat better. You must exercise better or whatever. It might be good this week to make some time daily. It could be morning, night or any time that suits you to focus on this thing. It could be five minutes. It could be just a five minute walk around the street. It could be a five minute cleanup, um, five minute meditation. You know, it doesn't have to be a long period of time. So this is very much highlighting our days this week day by day just get through the day and it comes up with this card the pause card card 25 and we haven't seen this for quite some time so it says here to uh, it says hold time transition suspension and limbo it's the pause card it's saying that some things are on pause right now and some areas of our life may feel like they're in limbo now, if you're waiting on something, you're getting a bit impatient or you're, for whatever reason, um, you might find it helpful to do some daily dedication, just get through your day. And I find it helpful that no news is good news. So if I need to reassure myself of that, I find that helpful. You might find it helpful too, maybe. Um, so something's potentially in limbo and we can use this time really to heal, to take this time to heal, to mend to reassess, to find some quiet moments and be okay with those quiet moments. And really it is about finding a balance actually because this feels a bit lunar, this energy too. So it might also be finding a balance between the pause and the action and um, not having too much imbalance there but finding the time for both, the time to refocus again mentally get the action happening, get back on the same team, but also find balance over here that's a bit softer um, and a little bit more supportive, perhaps a bit more nurturing, a bit more healing for us as we need it. So let's take each day as it comes, see what happens and uh, see how the cards fit for you as you flow through your week. But jam-packed, I mean, I've got heaps of cards, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve cards out for the week, which is a lot. So have a great week. Happy birthday, happy anniversary if you're celebrating and have a good week. I will see you next time. Take care of yourself and goodbye for now. Namaste.